Thank you very much for everyone for letting us come up, up here and present. Um, like I said, no judgment zone, but we really appreciate any, any feedback or uh, questions. Um, my name is Jeff Allen. And I'm Daniel Schumpfosen. And the one way we are helping the rest of the teams is we are delaying their demos. So we are trying to help people even in this. So, um, so one of the ideas that we had, and Daniel really came up with this a lot, was this idea of the uh, chat integration platform. Feedback. Um, so the idea is you might be in spaces, but want to communicate with someone that's not in spaces, maybe leveraging just normal SMS or MMS technologies to make them be able to collaborate. And so basically, when you look at what we built out here is um, leveraging the Bias Spaces API against in the chat, and then leveraging the CPAS API for SMS, and then building a number of microservices um, connecting the spaces using Node.js, SMS Bridge with Quarkus, all communicating through Apache Kafka. So as, as those events and messages are flowing through either spaces or coming back through SMS, you can have bi-directional communication um, from that platform. And then as information and individuals are invited, we can have a cache and kind of user directory that says, okay, if you want to invite Doug, Jeff, or um, Daniel, you can tell them this is maybe within uh, Slack or SMS or voice and be able to connect and get their contact information and then communicate with them. And so you can see on the right hand side, there's obviously a lot more extension opportunities. If you wanted to connect out there and use voice to you know, establish a phone call or things of that nature or third party communication and messaging platforms, you know, you have the basis and the foundation for that integration. So Daniel is going to walk you through a nice little demo that he built and I will hold the microphone. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close the slide. It. That's me. Shambled here. One second. So this is the output from the messaging. This is actually a small window you don't want to see. Project it to a second here. How's everybody doing so far? You guys had a good hack. Hack no way, man. Well, I'm cleaning this up. Yeah, we, 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 we said if you cannot contribute to your project itself, we'll contribute to your timeline, right? <laughs> That's right. So, um, here we go. So, what we have here, we have the spaces, and in this case, we just set up a room that we were hacking away, and I had to clear the content a little bit, so I put a nice message out for you guys. And what we did is, uh, like Jeff was alluding, we have a couple services running, and one of them got uh, disconnected, so I have my little uh, cheat sheet here. And let me get the consumer in here so you guys can see all the stuff happening. Um, everybody's hopefully familiar with Kafka, so this uh, the demo got a little uh, spotty today. All right, so what we did is we have a way for the spaces to essentially have a WebSocket listening that detects when there's obviously a message on our particular space, and then it sends the message that was added to the space up to Kafka. And then we have another service in there that listens, listens to Kafka, subscribes to the topic for this particular uh, room, and then um, either sends an SMS message or if it came in from an SMS message, sends it to the spaces. So we have a bi-directional communication. The way we set it up is so that you could add any other um, form of communication that works for you that you prefer, right? So if I have here a test message, it comes out here, and if this text window goes down, we can see here that, ah, hang on, demo gods, be good. <laughs> ah, take a sec. So, is it going? So essentially what happens, and you can see it from the previous log, so demo gods are not good by connecting and moving around, maybe my Wi-Fi dropped. So essentially what it did is, we have this um, node app sitting up here that is listening to um, the topic, and when the message comes in, um, it sends it out to a predefined list of uh, recipients. And what we did is, uh, to make it a little bit more interesting, we have the ability to, um, how do you get somebody to SMS, right? So if you have a spaces, um, a room and you want to invite somebody, the idea is that you send an invitation and then we pick that invitation up and everything got scrambled, I'm sorry about that. Um, the, the idea is there, I send that string and when I get that string, I parse the string, detect that the, the protocol is an SMS, anything after invite is the name and then we have for, for the protocol, what method 
have the, the argument, right? In this case, we have a phone number. So I hope you understand how, how the concept works. We then can register, and then for this particular room, any consecutive message will be sent to that particular um, destination. And since it works both ways, you can imagine how that works. It doesn't work right now. Apparently, when I uh, switched the screens, everything got scrambled. But um, under the hood, we, if, if you're interested in, in technology, we're using OpenShift uh, Kubernetes platform to run our polyglot application. And some components are written in Quarkus, some of them are written in Node. And we are um, having a Redis then as a, as a directory that allows you to translate between a phone number and the name. And um, well, that's, that's what we have. And we have Kafka, obviously, uh, for our message um, persistent storage query. If you have any questions, feel free to come over and talk to us at the desk. Um, and we really appreciate your time and the opportunity to learn about these APIs. Excellent.